All right, today I've got a old Dan Electra to show you. It's a 1959 Shorthorn Deluxe in pretty solid condition considering the age. Uh, there's a little bit of finish checking, some nicks, some dings. Uh, I've got a link to the reverb listing below uh, with pictures. It'll do it much better justice. A um, couple things to note. The first is that there is a uh, this pick guard's clear. It's got a green piece of vinyl under it. It's like that when I got it. I've just left it there. Um, second is the uh, the way these guitars are wired is a little unusual. They have uh, concentric uh, pots for each pickup, but instead of tone and volume, the top is an on-off, the bottom is volume, and they're kind of wired like the, the bridge is is sort of hardwired as if the tone were rolled all the way back. Uh, my air conditioner just came on, but I'll just have to deal with it. <laughs> uh, anyways, it, it gives it kind of a jazzy feel. And um, the middle is, you know, it sounds sort of like it's maybe got the tone a little bit back, but uh, not too much. A little brighter and the bridge is uh, just the tone wide open it's you know it sounds real bright um, but what's cool about this is you can crank them all open and then use the volumes the volumes are all independent and you can kind of use them as a three band EQ low mid high that's sort of uh, how I've been playing it and uh, it's, uh, it's kind of cool once you get used to it. Um, anyways, let's, uh, let's take this thing through its paces. Um, I am playing uh, through a, uh, a Music Man 112 RD100 mic'd with a MXL condenser. Um, and, uh, all right, I'm just going to uh, play a few notes here. Do a clean, do some drive. The drive I'm using is just a full tone OCD, and I also have uh, sort of a uh, Jan Ray Timmy clone as well. <laughs> 